got the first episode of Refashion Season 2 up for you now, in which I do lots of things to rob with sequins. Hope you enjoy! Hey, you know that amazing bridesmaids dress you got in your closet? The super fancy one with like the bows and the sequins that was awesome on the day but isn't so much awesome now? I'ma take one of those. I'ma make it a little less fancy, but still gonna be fancy. Let's go. I mean, I'm a firm believer in the bride and the groom getting whatever they want on their day. But like, this is, this is mean. And this is a one-time deal. So I think what I'm going to do is take the gold at the bottom of the dress and put it up near my face in like a little cami and then take the rest of the dress and make a little pencil skirt. It's gonna be a little sequin piece, two set. Let's go. Okay, so I'm going to take this little cami pattern. It's an amazing pattern. And I'm going to place it where I want the color. So I'm gonna eyeball how much I think I need and just chalk a line. And we're just gonna cut right through that. Don't use your good scissors when you cut this. Sequins are a beast. They will chew up your fabric scissors. So use an older pair of fabric scissors. And then just cut. Now we're gonna make it rain. These are gonna get everywhere. <laughs> Rob's gonna be so happy. <laughs> Sewing tools you didn't know you needed. Handheld vacuum. I'm just gonna go charge that up. Oh, hello. So I've got my fishtail all cut out, and what I've done is matched up the side seam of the original dress, which gives you your center back on the grain and your center front on the grain and on the fold so you can easily cut your tank top out. Now remember, I want that gold up near the top of my face. So I'm gonna flip that jammy over, throw a handy dandy pattern right on top of it, and get cutting. <laughs> yeah, okay. So these sequins are getting everywhere. I'm gonna finish this up and meet you back at the table. Wish me luck. Okay, I've got my cami pieces cut out and I shook off all of the sequins cause they got everywhere. Is there something on me? I threw a safety pin in the back of one piece so I could remember which is the back because it kind of looks similar. And then, I could use this lining, which is really pretty silk charmeuse because sequins are scratchy and you know, I'm not into scratchy, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the poly lining that came in the dress and go nose to tail on this, do a little saving of the world. So all you're gonna do is take your sequin top right side up, throw that super fancy poly lining on it, right sides together and pin all the way around the neckline, all the way around the arm side as it's pronounced, to the machine. I'm gonna sew this with the sequin side up, poly side down. I don't know why, it's just like ESP, extra sewistry perception. Now I've got a heavy duty needle in the machine because sequins are a beast and a needle could break off in your face. Whoa, 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 babe. What? A needle could break off in your face. But they're so ugly. I got my cami sewn up, front and back, and now we're going to make the straps. I'm gonna use the same strap from that Wonderful bridesmaid's dress. Take your pattern piece, you lay it down, you cut it out, you sew it up, you turn it right side out. Boom, strap. Now, <laughs> I've got a little coffee in me, so hopefully I'm gonna do this right. You pin a safety pin 
to one end of the strap. Now you're gonna go inside of your cami because you didn't sew up those little holes where the straps go and you just thread that strap through using the safety pin. Boop. That's a sewing term, boop. And then you pull it back down a little bit, take the safety pin out and pin it up. Now you're gonna take that over to the sewing machine and then you just sew right across the top of the strap opening. This is the magic part. Now we're gonna pin the sequin side together and the lining side together and sew it in one fell swoop. Okay! Yes? A needle can break off in your face. Thank you. You're welcome! Now you gotta, now you gotta do the other side. The remains of the dress. All right, to make the skirt, I'm going to cut off that, which offends me, creating a new little waistline, and I'm gonna give it a haircut of about four inches at the hem. <laughs> Okay, I cut my skirt off. I kept the lining of the original dress. I kept the zipper of the original dress. I am saving the world here, people. Now what I'm gonna do is use something, one new piece to the dress, a little bit of Petersham. This stuff is so nice. It's soft against your skin. It's gonna make a super nice fancy waistband finish. Oh my God. Okay, so you line the Petersham up with the original waistband of your skirt. Just pin that all the way around. Now we're gonna take it to Betsy over there and sew it through. Hi Betsy! Now I'm gonna sew the waistband to the skirt. Basically I can feel the little ridge where all those amazing sequins and the poly lining all come together at the waistband in a great big lump. And I'm gonna use my presser foot as a guide right up against that and sew it down with my goggles. Now we have to cut the excess of the skirt off of the Petersham. So you've got your Petersham waistband, right? Look under there, there's the rest of your skirt. We're gonna cut all of that off. Goodbye. Now you've got your waistband. So you cut off that excess underneath. And now what I'm gonna do is finish that raw edge with a zigzag or an overlock stitch, and then fold that under, press it down, and you've got a new pretty waistband with not a lot of lumps. Who wants lumps on their waistband? Then I'm gonna fold the Petersham under, and it's gonna make a nice little finish with the top of the zipper. I'm gonna throw a hook and eye in there right at the top. And then she's ready for a try on. of the skirt. So what I'm gonna do is peg the hem. That involves just like stitching it down at the bottom so it gets fancier. That will make sense when I show you. Let me show you. All right, let's peg a skirt. Pegging a skirt is what you do when you want to take sort of a a rectangular skirt that's kind of floopy at the bottom and just take it in a little bit so it fits your curves a little more better. You take your skirt and pull it inside out so you're basically unsandwiching the lining. Lay it out nice and flat so you can see your side seam. Just start with one side seam at a time. And you see how this just goes straight down and sort of floops out at the end? I think if I take this side seam in about two inches, that's gonna give me the look that I want. So from the original line of stitching, I mark in two inches, and then you're just gonna taper that up 
into the original line of stitching. And that is going to be your new stitching line. Now you don't want to go like too much further than two or three inches in for a peg because that's too sharp, it's too steep of a grade to make it into the hip. So you're just going to mark that same line on all four side seams. Your other side seam on your fashion fabric and your two side seams on your lining. Now you're going to stitch all along those chalk lines and then we're almost done! Okay, I love the peg so much! Uh, I love having the gold up near my face instead of down by my feet. And now, instead of having a dress in my closet that I will never wear again, I have two separates that will work with anything in my closet. Looking good, Mrs. Harrell. Oh, you too, Mr. Harrell. Make a wish. <laughs> no more glitter. Oh, that's a very bad wish. For more extra, head on over to Blueprint to check out all of the episodes of Refashion Seasons 1 and 2 and all of the things that I do to Rob. Bye!